Hi everybody, this is Tani Gutierrez, founder of MattinKitchen.com, and this is my weekly We Nomad We Happy vlog. So my family and I are traveling for 12 months, right, all over the world. We're based in Madrid right now for approximately three months, but today, for a long extended weekend, we are in Barcelona. So a train ride away, um, but totally on the Mediterranean Sea and gorgeous. Um, so we're kind of, you know, getting a little extra little vacation out of things before we truly um, knuckle down and go back to work. I have a new session that starts September 19th. So we're exploring, right? And part of this exploration, we're homeschooling our two young boys, is to really look at fitness and food everywhere we go, right? So I have celiac. I had my thyroid removed about four years ago. Um, clear, very distinctive, um, major, I mean, I'm not serious, but real um, food sensitivities. They actually don't register as allergies um, when I did the testing, but my doctors are all very clear and everyone who knows me goes, yeah, those things really don't work for you. So we put off international travel for quite a while um, because of the ages of the boys, but a lot because of my food and my health. And I wasn't sure it could really be super healthy and safe while we do it and how to navigate and manage that so part of this trip is to share that with you all because I hear it from a lot of people that are like well you know number one can you stay healthy while you're traveling yes it's just an excuse like everything else um, can you stay healthy and safe with food allergies um, especially specifically celiac so our whole family is gluten-free and I packed a lot when we first left and you guys have seen the updates and we've kind of talked about it and everybody went, why did you choose Spain to start in? Um, my husband's family, you know, originally is from Spain, pieces and parts of it, you know, significantly. Um, our last name is Gutierrez. Um, the boys should speak Spanish at some point and we wanted to connect. But the other thing that we knew and had researched and found out about Spain is that the food's really clean. Um, and in Europe in general, because they don't allow GMOs, there's a couple of crops, it's potatoes and corn that they allow it in, but you know, organic is not that big of a thing because they don't have the same chemical crap in their food as we do in the States. So we chose it because we felt like we could navigate the food um, also. And so in Madrid, it's been like, I had two weeks of vacation when we got there planned, um, and it was a little bit of reckless man, and I was eating a lot of things. I don't usually eat. kind of see what would happen, right? <laughs> um, I ended up with a stomach bug. I can tell the difference between a bug and, you know, the food allergy stuff. And then I could tell there were some things that I were eating that was like, mm, not the best choice, maybe not so much of it. Um, so knuckle back down to clean. Okay, and what does clean mean? For me, it's mostly greens and veggies. Um, I keep the fruits pretty low. Um, I pack all my own snacks every place I go, and I don't do sugars. I do raw honey and maple syrup sometimes, and um, I just don't do a ton of sweet unless it's fruit. What else? Uh, clean animal proteins. To me, that means that they're pasture raised, you know, uh, grass fed or well caught. So, when we're traveling, the fish is typically easiest for me, or I'm doing a lot more vegan and then adding things to it, or we stay in Airbnbs and we cook. So, we still pack lunches, you know, we're still on a budget and with kids, like we're, we're living here, we're not vacationing every place we go. But the main thing I wanted to share today, man, that was rambly, um, was that. When it comes to going out to eat in restaurants, because you go, yeah, of course, you can pack stuff, you could ship stuff, you could buy stuff, you can cook, right? Mostly what I did in the States too. And then we find our, in the States, our, you know, restaurants that work that we can navigate. So here, I don't, again, the language barrier, right? And my phone's not always working where we are. And so I can't look everything up and we just kind of have to navigate and go talk to them. Here's the overwhelming thing that we have learned. Um, over 40 days into this trip now in two cities in Spain so Madrid and Barcelona is that I don't know how they train people in restaurants here I don't know who lit a fire under their tush or a bug up their butt or what amazing person has somebody in their family with celiac but you say sin gluten you know or you tell them that you have celiac in a restaurant and man is it incredible they jump they run to get their manager in a nice way a very empathetic a very concerned very educated way they always have an English menu to print that denotes everything and if you guys are following me 
on Instagram, it's Madden Kitchen, or on Facebook, it's Madden Kitchen. Um, you'll see all the day-to-day -day details. There's so many things to share with everything that we're doing, and this is just kind of like the, you know, the weekly journal for me um, to share with you all. But it's incredible. I mean, I I've had two servers that I wanted to hug because I was like that. You just went above and beyond. Like they're like, is it allergy and sensitivity, or do we really need to like clean it off? And you can't have anything out of the fryers. Like they know their business and they understand the weight of it when somebody gets gluten and they get that cross contamination and how important it is. And in the states, you know, I navigate it. I don't feel weird about it anymore. I did in the beginning. I think there's a learning curve for sure for standing up for yourself and community communicating with people but in the states it's still kind of looked at like seriously you're gluten free like I have to go ask these questions or I'm sure you're just doing some kooky little like wellness diet and your whole family's gluten free and I still get that response for about having the boys being gluten free instead of the oh my god you guys are so super aware and intelligent and you can see the signals of their sensitivities and you're not letting it get to the stage of them having celiac because you've pulled it from their diets now so you know there's a huge learning curve in the states still for it and what we're finding in Spain that is just really beautiful to be here because there's such empathy for it and care and attention to it without judgment. So that's the major thing that I learned this week. There were other silly things. I will include them in others. But if you want to follow the blog, um, we know madwehappy.com and you can always work out with me and learn more about food, fitness, and wellness and spirit um, and getting grounded in your best self at mattandkitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.